original screenplay that we bought was an FBI agent in Virginia. We're looking for an old cellmate of yours named Morgan Ball. You seen him? When we gave the script to Tommy Lee, he said, you know, you should come down to Texas and look, I think it would be a fantastic location for this movie. T-E-X-X-A-S, Texas So we went down and Tommy Lee showed us the entire state of Texas. It was a fabulous trip. And as a consequence, we decided to make the lead character a Texas Ranger. Tommy lives here, he's comfortable here, he likes to work here, he's very proud of the state. That was an additional appeal, that he could work close to home, and that he could bring work to Texas. I mean, he's a true Texan. Here we go, set and action! I was certainly happy with their choice of Texas as a place to shoot. Uh, Austin's a very friendly environment to filmmakers, and uh, it's very pretty, and it's a, a big university. The key for us was the cooperation of the university. They don't have a history of uh, entertaining motion picture companies. They were forthcoming and very cooperative, and it was, that was a real pleasure for me. The University of Texas has never allowed a picture to represent it as the University of Texas. So we've had uh, tremendous cooperation from the city of Austin, and we had tremendous cooperation from the uh, University of Texas. We went to them, we approached them early on. They had never done it, but they reconsidered it. They read our script. We were careful to portray it as a great educational institution. If you want to stop us from cheerleading, you're going to have to pry the pom-poms from our cold, dead hands. And these are cheerleaders, and the heart of the UT sports program is football. This stadium houses 85,000 people. We worked with the actual cheerleaders and with the actual cheer coach and with the football staff. and they allowed us to come in and shoot during football games. The UT football team is epic. Everything about it is ritualized to this almost Olympian degree. So when we shot the football game, it in itself is so dramatic. All we had to do was turn the cameras on. They have steam for the players to come out on the field, 350 band members. The UT band is we should do a movie about the UT band. They were unbelievable. It was kind of a homecoming in a way, because I graduated from the University of Texas um, a long time ago. And they were very, very helpful. I mean, pretty much from the governor all the way to the university. And has it been a good Completely. It's been fabulous. The university gave us everything that we needed. Steve, we're so happy to have you here. Have the people who you've been working with here, the students, even the fans, the spectators, have they been excited about this as well? Completely. I mean, we... We were shooting it more or less in the dead of winter, so the days were really short. Um, and to try and recreate a football team in, and the amount of people in the stadium technically was uh, a bit of a daunting task. We were all struck with how different the fan base is now. 20 years ago, maybe 30% of the people would wear colors and uh, have paraphernalia and, and be into it and that sort of thing. And now it's like, oh, 90, 95% of the crowd is in the orange and white. So obviously that's reflecting itself into the movie as well. Stephen just wanted to make sure that it really felt like UT and that we were getting good locations and good shots, taking advantage of the things that the campus has to offer. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition! I've lived a good portion of my life in Texas and so I get the whole UT thing. And then on top of that, I was a collegiate and high school cheerleader. <laughs> Class 89, that was bad, I was a bad man. And so the chance to do any sort of little send up on the whole subject matter and stuff was like great to me. All set, you bet. More power, more power, more power to the hour. I have to show them my stuff and stuff I show them. You got no personality, no what? Personality, you got no P, E, O, personality. <laughs> I had several moves that, you know, that's going to throw these girls for a loop, and you will see in this scene how dynamic and uh, versatile a uh, cheerleader and dancer that I am. <laughs> they're cute and they're fun. 
they got good energy, you know, and they definitely make the set fun to be on, you know. They sit around and talk to me a lot like Santa Claus. Usually they're all around me, gathered all around me, and we sit and chat, and I give them advice about what they can do with their career and, you know, how to ask for bigger trailers and uh, just little things about the business. <laughs> Yeah, that's old school. The funniest part of it is just seeing this tough guy like Tommy Lee Jones paired up with five crazy cheerleaders. Okay, let's focus on the conversation. How are you going to get things rolling? And he's really a guy's guy and thrown into this feminine world, you know. It's in some ways almost fish out of water. I mean, because Tommy is this grizzled Texas Ranger who's basically, you know, spent his entire life chasing down bad guys. Wow! Who knew you were such a baby? Yeah. Now has to sit and deal with five estrogen pumping women. The sort of clash of those two worlds I just thought was very funny. We've all agreed to cover up these areas here and this area right here. Good. I really didn't know a lot about comedy for the first 20 years of my working life. I learned a great deal about it. In fact, I learned most of what I do know about it from Will Smith and Barry Sonnenfeld. I think the secret is to uh, stay relaxed and pay attention. Do I need the slim fit, the regular protection, or the one with wings? And he's such a highly skilled and highly trained actor. There's a lot of things, just a way of turning a line, you know, that might seem somewhat matter of fact, but then you turn it a little bit on its ear and all of a sudden it becomes actually you know, sort of out of left field and very funny. You see, you clearly don't know how to speak to women. I know how to speak to women. I clearly choose not to. I had no idea what it would be like to work with Tommy Lee Jones. I, I didn't really know too much about him personally, but I was always such a huge fan of his work. I was a little scared at first because <laughs> I didn't know what he was going to be like because he's always got like this tough exterior and kind of like, I don't know, kind of like cranky or something, but he's not. He's so funny and also the scenes where it's, he's doing like these emotional things where he's sort of a father figure. You have a daughter and you love her, you should just tell her. Yeah, maybe you should take her skating again because you know what? You're pretty good. Yeah. These sweet, nice, emotional scenes. It really just like makes me want to cry. So I guess that's it. Tell her you miss her. Except I miss you, baby. He's a sweetheart. He's just like a true like Texas gentleman, and he speaks fluent Spanish, which I really respect. Su mamá se acuesta con perros, sabes? Primero debes saber que hablo español, y segundo, you couldn't possibly be talking about my mother because my mother is allergic to dogs. He actually has bonded with us. Just it's very similar to the movie, where he's kind of like you know us girls have gotten to him. <laughs> One inch on either side. Three. Two. Done. <sighs> I have a crush on Tommy Lee Jones' character. We can stop the charade and run away together. You got a paper to write. And it works for me, because I secretly, I have a, an infatuation with older men. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> My grandma's right there. I love older men. I really do. There's something about them I just love. You like me, don't you? No. <laughs> Well, it's a lot of fun to work with these girls. They're very talented, they're very funny. We've all become good friends. It's just uh, you know, a pleasure to come to work every day. We are an acting company. I don't think any one of us intimidates any of the others in any way. Uh, we, we're all supportive of, the, of, of each other, and it's, it's a good company to be a, a part of. It's uh, not their fault if they're young girls. It's not my fault if I'm an old man. We, we get along just fine.